Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Ghost Paper Stories 7pm. This was developed by Cellar Vault Games, published by Chorus Worldwide Games and is usually available for a lovely small smidging £3.49 slash $3.99. Oh, so this is a first in a small anthology horror series as we play th as three kids who attempt to invite a new neighbour to play with them only to have a whole bunch of scary ass stuff happen to them and more and more secrets slip through the cracks. If you want to discover every secret and horror, it's going to take you more than one playthrough, but for every achievement, only one playthrough and a small tiny extra bit is required, so it is not too bad. As for achievements, there are 20 in this short half an hour video and a lot are for doing sort of random miscellaneous things, so pay attention and look at the timestamps if you miss anything and if you do happen to miss anything, uh, luckily, this game is very, very short, so it is a win-win. So, all in all, you're looking at around half an hour or so to unlock every single achievement. So, with that being said then, well, we're going to press the A button to begin and play. So, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one, and ta-da! That's it, let's play. So these are just the saves, so we're just going to go ahead and crack on, any one you want. Now for the first sort of minute or two, it's going to be auto-dialogue, so you can't skip it. Um, but after all this bit, and we start talking to Auntie Feng Shui, that's when you can start spamming the dialogue with the A button, if you so wish. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, just one thing that I should mention that if you do end up uh, the, the checkpoint system is really good in the game But in terms of if you mess something up it can be annoying as you have to replay up to that point So if you do end up messing up a, a say a that one dialogue option or you end up missing something specific before the dialogue finishes, if you just um, completely quit the game and exit out to the Xbox dashboard and go back in, you will um, basically transport to just before that dialogue option, etc, etc. So, again, like I said, if you end up messing up one of the dialogue options or you accidentally pick the wrong, wrong one, before the dialogue finishes, completely quit out, go back into it, and you should be good. Um, if you end up um, not doing that, the game will save after the dialogue, and you'll have to re replay the entire game up to that point again. There she is then, a little special anti-kung fu. I mean, fun <laughs> Uh Sorry. So anyway, uh, obviously the movement, left stick to move, A button to interact with things, A, a button to uh, skip things. So we're going to speak to the kid in orange immediately, straight away. Uh, this is who we're going to speak to for the majority of the game, and he is called Lun. And Lun looks more like a 30-year-old dressed up, supposed to be dressed up as a kid. Uh, but uh, maybe it's the bags under his eyes that give it away, I don't know. Anyway, what we're going to do is head to the right, in the upper right-hand corner, past into this alleyway. Um, press the A button here to get through this, and then keep heading left. And then what you need to do here is talk to Uncle Yo. Yo, Uncle. What's up, dog? Anyway, keep spamming just through the dialogue for the time being, anyway. And this is where we're actually going to get our first miscellaneous achievement. Right after we do this little mini game that he's going to do. So, very easy then. All you've got to do is press the A button on the arrow. Hold the A button. And then press right on the left stick. Same uh, on the next arrow. Hold the A button. Press left. And then just press the A button on the next two corresponding arrows just once. And that is going to fold up this lovely paper. And it is going to make you a clear. A goose! Uh, so, after when, <laughs> when, who, which, why? Uh, stop speaking to Uncle Yo. Yo. Then, um, we are going to talk to him four more times, and we're going to get the, I said, leave me alone! 
achievement. So now we're going to speak to him four more times. Each time he's going to say, leave, leave, leave her alone. Leave Brittany alone. And then eventually the achievement will unlock. I said, leave me alone. There we go. When that unlocks, you can see the offering there in the back. You can press the A button on it if you wish, but you just have to stand here for around five seconds or so for the a moment of silence achievement. Respect for the departed deadness. Right, head back out, and you're going to see this kid. This is automatic. You can't miss this one. But this is the first spooky, scary stuff that happens, and it's going to get us the candy achievement. Holy crap. Okay. All right, then. So... First sign of crappy pants right there. Right, go ahead and speak to Auntie Feng Shui on the bench right here. And this is actually going to get us the fourth achievement, like you've seen a ghost. So Auntie Feng Ku, after you speak to who, her, uh, that is when you'll get the uh, fourth achievement. So when we are done and the achievement unlocks, we can now head to the upper left area, past the 30-year-old supposedly kid Lun, talk to the lady here in purple, and just spam through the dialogue until you can say yes, that you want to help her with this next little minigame. What I do also like about the dialogue, the uh, in small writing in black there, it tells you um, all, all types of like very educational stuff um, about the language and about everything else. That's pretty cool as well. Very nice feature of the game. So, little minigame here. The, the order at the top with the cracked, broken phone, you just got to um, hit the A button on the things they want. So, first of all, it's going to be rice. Of course, rice is on the right. Cucumber just next to it on the left. Egg next to it on the left. And sambal on the, to the left of that. So, one each. Then you can press the A button there. That'll get rid of that first package. Lovely. Right, next you want extra sambal. So, you need two sambal. One sambal, two sambals. I got a couple of sand balls too. Uh, one egg, no cucumber, and one rice. <laughs> Super complicated. You think all these orders, she'd be able to get a new phone or Mac kick no, but uh, apparently not. Right, one sand ball for the last one. Two eggs, which apparently equates to four eggs. No cucumber and rice, which actually sounds quite delicious, actually. The cucumber is the devil's work, just like mushrooms and black pudding. Um, <laughs> I've opened up a can of worms with that, haven't I? But that gets us the Nasi Lemak is love achievement. So after the dialogue has finished, we are going to be heading up the stairwell to the back. And uh, what we're going to do, there's the back. So head up the stairs. And all we're going to do is just keep heading up. Hello, Mr. Guy. What are you watching? <laughs> what are, well, we don't want to know. Uh, so just keep heading all the way up past Smokey Jokey right here. All the way up. And you're going to get the Fear of Heights achievement unlock next. There it is. Right. Let's head back down, and we're going to go to unit 201 to 204, so here it is. So now we can turn to the left, and we're going to speak to the boys, and that's going to get us the Kipochai, or Kipochi achievement. By the way, of course, you know how my English is so terrible, I'm just about to butcher a whole bunch of these achievement names. Uh, yeah, and names actually in the game, sort of, um, just like Ah Beng and Ah Shen. Ah, swing and a miss. So after you've spoken to the R swing and a miss boys, what we're going to do is head all the way back downstairs. So keep heading down and we're going to go uh, back to Lun. And we're going to talk to him. This guy's watching porn. God, you disgust me. Um, but anyway, uh, sorry, just um, getting ahead of myself right there. Uh, go ahead and return to Lun. Here he is, of course, the kid in orange. When does Lun say? We're going to ask him about the card game. So the top option right there. And again, there's going to be another option, which we are get again, we're just going to keep spamming through the dialogue. We're going to press the A button. It's literally just to ask to see the card. That's the one. There it is to see the card. And now we're going to basically play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Now, this can be random. So it's literally just a case of you pick what you want. You pick scissors and, you know, you pick rock and paper. And well, I mean, you, play, you played rock, paper, scissors before, right? I'm pretty sure you have. Like I said, this is random, but even if you lose, even if you keep losing, you can just talk to Lun again, and you can keep replaying this as much as you want. But you're going to need to win at least one game to get the Lucky Guess or Mad Skills achievement. So keep going until you win. Thank you. 
So the first time I'd done that, I actually lost twice, and the, uh, the second time to record this, I won first time. So, unlucky you, kid who is definitely not a kid, you definitely are a 30-year-old man in a kid's costume. 30-year-old small person, as it were. Right, so what we're going to do now is head all the way back up, so upper left here, go back up the stairwell, and we're going to return to unit 201 to 204. So head up, let's see, if you're watching something good yet? Nope, nope, disgusting poiv. Um, so head to units 201, 204, there it is. Return to the kids here, press the A button, and again, just blast through the dialogue to see our banging our shen. Ooh, creepy, creepy. So, let's stop crapping. Sorry, boys, sorry, boys, sorry, boys. Right, so now we're just going to head uh, back downstairs. Go back to the down to the courtyard then. So, heading back down. Ugh, God. Man, stop watching dirty stuff right there. That was fun. Right, three pebbles you need to grab. The first one is directly in front of us there, quite close to Lun. So, pick up that first pebble. The second one is if we head down and slightly to the right on the screen, it's at the base of an electrical pole. There it is, this is the electrical pole, there it is, hiding in the bushes. And the third one is to the right, uh, in the upper right corner, just close to the water tanks, um, just before we head through, there it is. So we're going to get another three achievements, but you have to be careful to do this in an order, and I'll explain why. So, first say no I didn't, very important to say no I didn't, first of all. And that's going to get you the Tack Knack achievement. So after this, we're going to talk to Lun again. It looks like he's had a hard life for an eight-year-old. Uh, so we're going to speak to him again. And then this time we're going to say, yes, I do have your pebbles right here. So what that is going to do is get us the Knock Knock achievement. Now, after you do the, the three pebble throwing minigame, the Knock Knock achievement should unlock here. So... Now, people have said, it doesn't matter what you do, um, but what you're supposed to do is just aim at anywhere on the window, and then just aim, you literally just can go anywhere you want. You don't have to go in a specific order, you can just literally press the A button on whatever it is that you want. And then, the too much free time achievement should unlock straight away. Now, for whatever particular reason, the first time that I went through this, um, I accidentally gave him the pebbles before telling him that I didn't. So, I got those two achievements mixed up, and the too much free time achievement did not unlock for me right there. So, I'm not sure if that's a thing, but um, just be very, very aware of that. So, I still haven't actually unlocked that achievement as of this recording. So, anyway, head, head back to the upper left, going back up the stairs. Go, it, with this time we're going into units 101 to 104. You changed? Nah, still looking at uh, that doity stuff. Well, anyway, here we are, units 101 to 104. Interact with the um, door right here, the first apartment door, and nothing's going to be there, and some weird stranger dude is going to appear, and this is a guy that's meant to resemble a 30 year old all the way to the left, so head to the left, speak to the guy, apparently this guy is looking in his 30, he looks definitely more like he's in his late 60s in all fairness, uh, so go ahead, speak to him, and this is where you're going to get the stranger danger achievement. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! So, with that one done, head back to the right. Now examine the uh, the second apartment door to the one that we got earlier. This is Auntie Fung Koo's house. Uh, you can head to the right to grab the water bottle. You don't need to interact with this bit of food. Um, that's just me being silly. There's the water bottle there on the right on the table. So go ahead, grab that. Now we can just exit out of the apartment. And this time we're going to examine the open door. <laughs> yeah. Scary. Right, uh, press left on the left stick, and that is going to let you peek in, and then we're going to be chased by 
Well, I'll let you see in just a minute. But we are going to be chased, and all you got to do for this bit is, when the there's going to be two arrows, one left, one right, all you got to do, as soon as it pops up on screen, is just press left on the left stick. Holy crap! A piece of paper with eight arms is after you. Run, girl! So when it appears, press left on the left stick. I actually missed it the first time, so we'll try it again, shall we? <laughs> and when it appears again, there we go. So I press left on the left stick. That gets us running. Somehow she can, oh, when, which, why, how, and when, and where, she can outrun an eight-legged paper mache thing. So not bad. Not bad. Cracking running. So that's the What Just Happened achievement. Now we're going to go back to the courtyard. Head to the right and you're going to see a little boy in blue. His name is Ming. Uh, <laughs> that's what they used to call me in high school, to be honest. Ming. Uh, tell him something weird happened. And that will be <laughs> that will be it. That used to be my face throughout enti the entirety of high school as well. Absolute Ming I was. <laughs> anyway, enough sad stories about me. Although if sob stories get me more views and more money, then, you know, I'm up for that. It worked for everyone on X Factor. So go ahead and speak to Auntie Funku. There she is on the bench, still chilling on the bench. And this time what we're going to do is tell her that the kids are not the ones causing trouble. So, no, it's not them. So that'll be the first dialogue option right there. And then with the next dialogue choice, make sure to say yes, which will be, be the bottom option. So make sure not to spam the A button here. Just uh, take your time a little bit. Take your time. Take your time like a fine wine. And cheese like a mature... Damn it! Never mind. So it's just about coming up, so now we can say, yes I do, yes I do, do you like broccoli? No I don't. I mean, yes, eat your broccoli, you're going to be big and strong. So after that one then, uh, basically that was just to say that we saw Uncle Fungu. So now we're going to talk to Lun after this. Lun, Lun, Lun. Again, apologies that I've, I, I have completely butchered the name, so I do apologise. But speak to Lun again. And with this next dialogue option, we are going to make him listen. So it'll be the second dialogue option again, so don't go too nuts, it'll be the second one. Lun, listen to me. I... am... a... goose! So, little witch, when, why, when, and how has had enough. So now we are actually going to play as Lun. And that's what we're going to do. We're also going to get the Am I Crazy achievement right there. So, now we're going to head up a left, back up the stairway. Row, 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 row! Super speed, supersonic. Excuse me, this guy's watching dirty pornography. Uh, anyway, oh, sorry. There we go. We need to go back to 101, 104. Sorry, done that a little bit quick. So this time, um, we are just going to go to the left, a little bit of dialogue is going to happen, and then we're going to speak to the strange man. So, <laughs> apparently 10-year-old and a 30-year-old's body meet 30-year-old and a 60-year-old man's body. Wow, that's just incredible. So anyway, he's going to give us the option here to uh, lockpick. We're going to say yes. So that'll be the top option there. So yes, and that is going to get us the I need to break, uh, or I need to get in achievement, as it were. So, and again, the lockpicking minigame is not too hard. It gives us some lock pins. There's the achievement. So now we're going to go back to the right to go to the uh, first apartment building. Now, I'm not sure how you do it correctly, but I just kept pressing up and down on the left stick and then just pressing the A button and then that seemed to work. So just keep pressing left stick up and down, then just keep pressing the A button, uh, you know, without stopping. And that'll, apparently, that's how, that's how to do it. And you're going to see all this clicking stuff. Job done. Right, what you need to do then is examine everything in here. So there is one thing, well, directly to our left. Um, if we just head up to the open door, we're going to examine this next thing. And if we go back to the left, there is another thing on the wall to interact with. Some toys. And go to the left for a jump scare. See, I did warn you. I, I do apologise, I only gave you like one second of warning, but uh, I did warn you. J just about. 
Anyway, since we're back outside, we're going to grab the water bottle. Since you've changed your pants, uh, since, of course, they are no longer needed. Um, so, return to the courtyard. Now it is night time. <laughs> Damn, he was a long time grabbing his water. Speak to Auntie Funku. And then there's going to be a lot more dialogue. And everyone's going to be like, why did you change your pants? <laughs> no reason. I just wrapped them. And for once, it wasn't your cooking, Auntie Fung. So lastly for this playthrough, the first playthrough is almost over, we are now controlling Ming, so we're going to head back up to the left. We're going to have a little interaction here with Uncle Ying Yang, or just regular Yang. He's just Yang now because there was no no Ying to his Yang, he's Yingless, he's just Yang. So after that then, now we can start heading up the stairs and then we're going to speak to Auntie Feng Shui one more time. She looks happy until you just told her that um, the reason there's a bout of diarrhea is because of her cooking. Now she's going to be like, no! There it is, the no face. The angry face that we didn't tell her the truth and that we love eating raw chicken. Anyway, after that, we're just going to head back upstairs and we're just going to go all the way up. Nice candles. That's not eerie and ominous at all. And obviously head through the first apartment door right here. That's going to be ours. A little bit of uh, dialogue is going to happen. And then basically that's going to be the end of the game. And then we've just got one more slight playthrough to do to get three more achievements. So, off goes Uncle Yang to find his wang. Do, 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 do. Right, so this is the end of the game then. There's going to be about two or two and a half minutes or so of uh, credits. I, of course, have just edited that down, so you may just have to pause the video a little bit. Um, so, uh, rest in peace there, Leon. And that's basically it. It says completion 100%, but of course, we've got three more achievements left to grab. So, when the credits have stopped rolling and you're all good and you're back here... We're going to press the A to play, and you, we can just start a new game. So, again, the last three achievements, we don't actually have to go through the sort of first ten minutes as we did earlier. So, we can just start a new game. There we go. Again, sadly, we'll just have to replay the next sort of couple of minutes with the um, bit of dialogue and everything. So, you know, play him, bruh.
Okay, so now we can quickly just go ahead and get those final three achievements. Oh yeah. Very good, very good. Right. So as soon as it's all done, me again, nobody nobody's been fooled. Not with them bags under the eyes and that haircut. So after this is done, obviously you should know how to control the character and everything by now. So head past Lun, go up a left, head back up the stairwell at the back. And of course we're going straight back up to um, unit 101 to 104, here we are. Um, you don't, you can interact with the second door, you don't actually have to interact with the first door. Um, that actually doesn't uh, matter. We just have to interact and examine with the second door to go into our auntie's house, grab the water bottle again. There it is. Oh, nice and refreshing. Why does this water taste like urine? What the hell? Um, interact with, apparently it's good for the skin. So interact with the first door. Again, you're going to be chased, but this time you're not touching anything. So don't press left or right when the button prompts appear. Just wait until you get chased and, well, you know, brand starts seeping out of you again. Uh, but eventually it will end and you will get the weird daydream achievement. So do not touch anything. The weird daydream achievement will unlock here, and everyone's going to be like, "Hey, chat, what the hell? You're on the floor, and what, you've got you've, you've smeared crap all over the wall. Damn it!" Anyway, head back out. Uh, what you're going to do now is just talk to Lun, and again, it's going to be the same dialogue options as before. As in, we're going to say, "Lun, listen to me, you son of a, I am a goose, and I don't know what the hell's going on." <sighs> anyway, keep talking to him until we can control the thirty-year-old and the ten-year-old body. Right, so with that done then, we're heading back to the upper left, back up the stairways, and back to the um, units 101 to 104. Again, ignoring the pervy guy right there on his phone. So heading, <laughs> heading to 101, 104, head to the left again, and this time we are going to talk to the strange man. This time though, we are going to refuse to learn the lock picking. So when the dialogue option appears, make sure that you choose no. And again, if you do end up making a mistake, of course, you can just uh, exit out, completely quit out of the game and come back into it. So there we go. So say, nope, isn't that criminal vandalism or something? That's going to be, uh, that's going to get you the, I don't need to get in that bad achievement. And then there's just one more achievement left where Ting will talk to us. Hello, Ting. You look scary. God damn it. Anyway, she's going to want to play hide and seek. Um, and again, what we're going to do is not play hide-and-seek. So, again, make sure to refuse. Very important to, to refuse to play hide-and-seek. So, again, obviously, just taking taking the time here with the dialogue options, but we are going to uh, choose the top one anyway and say, nah, don't waste my time. Stop wasting my time, la. And then after this, for the final achievement, all we're going to do is just keep walking to the right three times until the didn't I just achievement unlocks. So keep heading to the right. It's going to transport us back. There we go. And we're going to do this a further two times to unlock that final achievement and complete the game. So that should be your 1000 out of 1000. Again, providing you didn't get the um, annoying bug that I did in uh, with the uh, one of the achievements earlier on. So there it is then, guys and gals. So... There you go, if you have a look, you should now be on 20 out of 20, so thank you so, so much for watching. I am definitely looking forward to the next two games as well. Again, it'll say 19 out of 20 for me, because this glitched on me, so pfft, up your guts, annoyingly. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout-out to everyone, of course, as usual, to everyone on Patreon, who continues to support the channel. Thank you so, so much. And... That's it then. So thank you again. I shall see you in the next one. Ba 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 ba. Big love.